Hey there, YouTube. I uh, wanted to make a quick video on how uh, the terminology in DirectWave in FL Studio works. Um, it's not too bad once you get the hang of it, but uh, trying to find clear, easy to understand information on this was hard when I was trying to look this up online. Uh, so I figured I'd make a quick video about it. Um, so, all right, so what are the what are the nouns? What are the things in Direct Wave that you work with? Um, I'll try to be pretty quick here just because I figure you can find more information elsewhere. I just want to go over mainly just what are the things inside of Direct Wave. So from what I've learned so far, there's there are programs, uh, there's a library, and I have a notepad over here that kind of lays this out a bit. But there are programs, there are banks, uh, there's the library, and then you can flush programs, and uh, there's there's a few other pieces, but uh, and there's multi banks as well. So we'll look at that in a second. So what are each of these things? So at the lowest level, a program is a collection of samples. Uh, so if we look here, so I so this is the uh, the programs I have on my local machine here. So this is in the the folders view over here. Um, in, by the way, so uh, out of the box, I believe that this library folder is set to like a uh, to uh, to a in FL Studio folder, like in your program files or somewhere like that. Um, I've updated mine so that it's sitting in my like I have an overall samples folder on my um, on my hard drive that has all of my different sample libraries in it. So this this folder here that has my direct wave programs and banks, uh, it doesn't have to live inside the FL Studio program files necessarily. You can store this somewhere on your disk so that it's easy to find and, and reference. But anyways, uh, got off track there a little bit, but basically my point is, so here's here are the programs I have on my local disk. And if we open up one of these programs, for example, so here's a grand piano uh, program, uh, so the direct wave programs have this DWP file format, which, you know, DWP direct wave program. Uh, and then, so once you open a program, it has a collection of samples in it. So if, like if I, let's play some of these. All right, so each, each of those is a different sample. And if we look at this folder here, here's all the individual wave files for that correspond to those samples. So in other words, a direct wave program is a collection of samples, right? It's a bunch of wave files and, and some extra information about it, right? So this sample here is associated with this zone and this zone corresponds to these uh, key ranges on the piano. And there's, you know, there's all kinds of other stuff you can set for it, velocities, things like that. But uh, I haven't really gone to that side of it too much, but just at a basic level, a program is a collection of samples. All right, so the next piece, what is a bank? Because um, you'll see bank in the UI a lot. So like if you hit this folder up here, there's a section for programs and then a section for banks. So a bank is one level up. A bank is a collection of programs. So I think the easiest way to see that is to go up here uh, when you're in this program tab, you hit the drop down and you get this numbered list here. So there's 128 kind of slots in here. If I click another one, you'll see that it clears out the program and all the samples here. But I can go back to my program here and then play my samples again. So why does that matter? Well, what I can do is I have my uh, grand piano program loaded on this first slot. And then I can open this other harpsichord uh, program on slot two, and I have another harpsichord program that I can load on slot three here. Uh, and so basically, with that, I can do piano stuff. Then I can switch over to slot two, do my harpsichord stuff, and then go to slot three and do my other harpsichord stuff. So, so this is a bank, uh, from my understanding. <coughs> it's not clearly labeled in the UI that this is a bank, but 
uh, I'm fairly confident that this thing here is a bank. So a bank is just a, co a collection of programs. So going back again, a program is a collection of samples, and a bank is a collection of programs. So, all right, so with that in mind, why would I want a bank? Like, what's what's the purpose of a bank? A program makes sense, you know, like in, anytime I want to load this Grand Piano program, I can load it into Direct, direct Wave and play with Grand Piano. Um, well, maybe I want to, so you saw earlier that I have, look at my programs, I have these three different harpsichord uh, instruments here. And if I'm working on a new song, maybe I, I know I want some kind of harpsichord in there, but I don't know which kind exactly um, until I play around with it a little bit. So I can come in here and create a bank. And here's one that I created earlier, harpsichords. I can open this up. And this bank has all of my harpsichord programs preloaded. Right, so switch over to this one. Switch over to that one. So that's, yeah, it's, it's simple, but it's kind of nice. So if I want to have different instruments or programs, uh, I can collect them all into a bank and then save them uh, to, to load it up easier later on. Oh, I forgot one other piece we'll talk about here is presets in DirectWave. We'll go into that in a sec. Uh, let, me, let me pull that up so I don't forget. We'll cover that at the end. Um, okay, so, right, all, it's all pretty straightforward so far. So how do you create a new bank? Well, we can come back in here. Let's add one more program just to illustrate. Uh, so we'll add this grand piano. So now I have a bank that has four different programs in it. And if I want to save this bank, I can uh, not do that. You go in here and you say, save save the bank. Uh, I'm not going to do that here uh, just for simplicity, but when you do that, you give it a, a, a file path on your local machine. It'll save it as one of these DWB files, direct wave bank files. So I go in the file formats. If it's a program, then it's going to be a, a DWP, a direct wave program file. If it's a bank, it'll be a DWB file, a direct wave bank. Um, now you also see I have some of these NKI files. Uh, these are contact uh, uh, programs. Uh, this is from a, a fairly old sample library, so I, I don't know if NKI is their newest file format or if it's still valid or not. But um, but this is another reason why it's why all this is useful is because I was able to find these uh, these contact uh, banks online, or sorry, these contact programs online, and then now I can create a direct wave uh, bank with them to make it easy to import those into FL Studio and work with them with the with the native uh, direct wave tool. Yeah. So that's kind of handy. Um, <coughs> so with all that in mind, so we've covered programs and banks, what they are. Uh, so all right, another thing you'll see in here is flushing. So you can go over here to program and flush. What's that mean? Um, OK, so I'm in direct wave and I have this bank open. Uh, what if I want to swap out uh, this program here? I want to, um, like, I don't know, I made, a, I made a mistake and I added an extra program here that I want. Well, fairly simple. If you want to delete this, you can go over here and flush it. And then, so this clears out the current program. So before I had four programs in this bank. So if I clear that out, now I only have three programs in the bank. So fairly straightforward. And then also you can do a flush all, and that clears out all of the programs in the bank, right? So yeah, just a useful functionality when you're testing things out, uh, or you know if you want to make sure that you have the right thing loaded, you can come in here and say, all right, I'm gonna load up this bank, and you know maybe you accidentally uh, tweak a setting on here that you didn't intend to, or something like that. OK, I, looks like I made a mistake. Well, I don't want to save that change, so I'm just going to come in here and flush everything, get rid of the changes, remove any kind of risk uh, about messing up my files, and then reload 
the bank. You know, that's a it's kind of handy to do that. So that's what flushing is. That's why you would want to flush uh, uh, a program in DirectWave. Uh, all right, so what about presets? Um, so this is similar to, uh, this is how I believe presets work in FL Studio as a whole. But basically, uh, so all of these, so we've been talking about, you can have a bank or a program sitting at a file folder on your local machine. Uh, so if you want to remember how to, like if you're starting up a new project and you want to load your harpsichord bank, for example, uh, so what that would look like is come in here. Uh, actually, let me, let's delete this here. And let's add a new direct wave. It's like you're starting a new project and you'll, you want to load up your harpsichord bank, for example. Um, so you could come in here and as long as you have your file paths set correctly and everything's defaulted, you should be able to just come in here, click banks, and then open your harpsichord bank. Uh, and you're good to go, right? So that's fairly straightforward. Uh, the So the only thing that a preset, from my understanding, helps you do is, so it helps you do all that, but it just makes it a little easier. Instead of having to, to navigate to the particular file that has your bank in it, you can save a preset. You can say, here's, I want to open this, this harpsichord preset, and then it, it loads whatever programs or banks you have here. Uh, and it'll also load, I believe, the like the volume settings on the channel and pitch settings and things like that. So it's it's going a one step higher, you know. I think you can th kind of think about as if you're you're saving a program, then if you're saving that to a file on your machine, then you're just saving that one program, uh, which is good. That's better than storing stuff like in memory or something. Uh, but if you store a bank, that's a little bit better because now you're storing the whole collection of programs that are that all kind of work together. So that's a little bit more convenient. But then you go up to the highest level and you create a preset, and then that makes it so that yeah, you know, the next time you you start a project, you just say, "I want my harpsichord direct wave instance," and it has everything kind of ready to go, right? So uh, <coughs> something to think about. Uh, all right, so that's pre. So we cover programs, banks, flushing, the library, and presets. Uh, so all right, the next piece is what's a multi bank. Uh, so let me flush this out here. And let's open my harpsichords bank again. All right, so I have three different uh, programs here in my bank. So now if I go over to this multi-bank tab, um, so I haven't dug into this a ton yet, but my understanding here is that this allows you to easily uh, control your different programs with uh, with uh, the MIDI channel. So for example, so if I open the piano roll for my harpsichord here, so this is, here's my piano roll for my direct wave channel. Uh, so if I, if I select the MIDI channel one here, the green color, uh, you'll see that it plays my first program. I select uh, channel two here. You'll see it's played my second program. If I select MIDI channel three, it's playing my third program. All right. So, and I believe you can move these around. I'm not sure. So this, this is a piece I haven't played around with a whole lot yet. Uh, but you can basically see here's here's the program. Is I have my three programs, and they're corresponding to these different MIDI channels. And I believe you can you can move these around a little bit, but I'm honestly I'm not too sure. And then you can also set settings for each one you know, things like that. So I don't know, honestly, I need to, I need to do a little more reading on how multi-banks work, but that's my main understanding is that you have a bank. So like, for example, if I open, I can open this bank here. And when I'm looking at the bank, this may or may not have MIDI channel information associated with it. 
But then when I go over to the multibank, now I can see that this this program is associated with this MIDI channel, etc. Um, <coughs> you may want to look into that in a little bit more detail yourself because there might be a little bit of misinformation or lack of understanding on my side on exactly how the multibanks work, but I couldn't find a lot of documentation on them. All right, so it's multibanks, and then the last piece is the file formats. Uh, we pretty much already covered that. So again, you have programs are DWP, direct wave program. Banks are DWB, direct wave bank. <coughs> and then uh, and then also I have this NK, some of these NKI files for contact in here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Uh, so just to summarize everything really quickly <coughs> is... So what's the terminology in DirectWave? You have programs. A program is a collection of samples along with some settings associated with them. You know, usually you might, you might want to use a program to, to represent a single instrument. Uh, what's a bank? A bank is a collection of several programs, or you can think of it as a, a collection of several instruments. Um, what is a uh, multi-bank? Well, we already kind of touched on that. I'm not as solid on that, so I'll skip that for now. Oh, I forgot to cover the library. Um, so apologies if this comes out pretty fragmented. I just I'm just kind of recording this off the cuff here. So, uh, but so the the other piece here is you have the the library, and you can you can imp you can take programs here uh, <coughs> into a content library. The piece I'm not as certain about, though, is so here's here's where my content library is. Uh, this is just a folder on my on my disk here, and if you look here where it says lib under my folders, this is like a a placeholder for this path, right? Uh, so once you have programs in your in in your uh, library folder here. They'll show up in this library tab, so <coughs> that's kind of handy. You know, if, let's say you have ten or fifteen different programs, then you just pop over into the library and and load up the the program. Pretty easy. Um, I believe you can use that as so. Like, here's my bank. I'm get switch over to to number eight here and load up the program. And so now my bank has the same program in those two different channels. So. My understanding is you can use the library to have multiple programs inside of it, and it just kind of provides like a an easier interface to to browse through your programs rather than like navigating to a file and having to understand the file paths and stuff like that. However, the limitation from my understanding is that the library only works with DWP or direct wave programs. I don't believe it works with contact. Uh, <coughs> uh, files or other libraries, but could be wrong on that. Um, the other piece um, to look into is how does this work? How do you import stuff to the con to the content library? I need to read up, up on that some. So, anyways, I've been going on too long now. Um, so I don't think I I probably didn't answer every question for more advanced use cases, but hopefully I provide enough info to demystify what these terms what is all this stuff what's a program what's a bank what's flushing what's a multi-bank what's what's the library what are the file formats stuff like that and hopefully get you started so anyways that's all for now thanks